A new edict allegedly handed down for FLDS communities. Good evening. Thanks for joining us on 2 News at 6 o'clock. A plan allegedly created by imprisoned FLDS leader Warren Jess has Utah officials worried about the safety of the children in the fundamentalist sect. The alleged plan orders all women and girls over the age of 12 to be impregnated. Lad Egan is live in southern Utah with more on this story. So, Lad, is the FLDS church confirming or denying any of this? Well, Christina, that the FLDS church is ultra secretive and uh, doesn't talk with the media and even law enforcement have a hard time trying to get to the bottom of situations like this where the whole town is talking about this plan. Residents say they've heard about it. Polygamous watchdog groups and even the Utah Attorney General's office say they've all heard about this plan for all the women and children to be or teenage girls to become pregnant. They attribute it to Warren Jeffs as a way to repopulate his flock. Whatever the prophet says was right before he said it. Rumors of a new and disturbing edict from convicted child rapist Warren Jeffs has people worried. Warren Jeffs is ordering all of the 12-year-old uh, and older women to get pregnant. Numerous sources inside the polygamous communities on the Utah-Arizona border have heard about the alleged plan, saying a small group of men will father all the children. It won't be by their husbands or by any kind of a relation they may know about it. It'll be by these three men. This latest directive, if true, comes on the heels of a long list of bizarre edicts issued by Jess from behind prison bars, including barring sexual relations between husbands and wives, which residents say has resulted in very few babies being born into the faith. They obey without question. They blindly follow. Ross Chatwin was kicked out of the FLDS church nine years ago, but still lives in Colorado City. He says there are parents who will allow it to happen. They will turn their daughters over at the door and say, okay, here's my daughter, here's my daughter. Yes, she's going through puberty now. Yes, here she is, here she is. News of the plan has reached the Utah Attorney General's office, which instructed polygamous outreach groups to be extra vigilant in watching for any signs of child abuse. But I know better. And I do not follow Warren Jeffs. As for Chatwin, he hopes law enforcement officers in Utah and Arizona take this threat against women and children seriously. And that they quickly put a stop to it once they have the evidence this is going on mm. and stop it in its tracks because we don't want this to happen. Observers of those polygamous communities wonder how far this plot would actually be carried out or if it's just some way of a way to test the membership to find those who are absolutely faithful to Warren Jeffs. There's also the idea that uh, these types of outrageous uh, plans are released by church leaders to find out who's leaking information to non-believers there in the town. So Chris and Christina, very disturbing, but also hard to find out exactly what's going on in those polygamous communities. But either way, Utah officials say they are aware and monitoring the situation there. Back to you. All right, Lad Egan, thanks a lot.